One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what we're going to do here is kind of a detail video today on this beautiful 1972 Buick Centurion convertible 455. And this is going to be a good one to do because the paint is very, very faded. Um, it's original paint, I believe. And I'm going to be going around this car. I've actually had it kind of mothballed, I guess you'd say, for quite a while. I'm going to give you an up close on the paint. And I'm trying to remember to get some pictures here because I have a very bad habit of not doing that. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And, you know, when you're done with this, at the end of the day, you are stuck with what you're stuck with as far as a finish. This has been rubbed on by people going by. I guarantee you there's some microscopic scratches and all this kind of garbage in there. But, for the most part, we've got a very straight, very nice car. A lot of people be like, oh, I need a paint job. Well, not around here. I'm not getting no paint job for this. In fact, we're going to open the hood where we can show you under there. Um, this will be kind of just a once around. And you'll see this car before I do anything to it. And I'm probably going to put something like this on my channel. Um, I don't know if it's be on the new one or the old one or what it'd be on. But maybe I'll pull this again. There's a little latch up there too. Beautiful on the inside. And I had it tarped off and just sitting here. And it's in great shape. One of the Bruce Campbell movies had this in it. Does anybody know what that is? Hit me up. It might have been an old also. I don't know. love the Aztec Trojan man. Maybe he's a Roman man. He should be Roman if he's a centurion, huh? I don't know. Stuff like this should all be degreased and gotten out during the process. Um, it's very clean under the hood. Very nice. And it's a 455 4, baby. Wow, what does that mean? That's interesting. Somebody tell me something. Big L and Nick or Big Crow Fly. Mark Judd, you guys, you know, uh, Brent Henry, you're Ford man, but you still might know something about that. I'm pretty dumb there, I don't know. Still got the original hood insulation. Woohoo, buddy. Look at this, the canisters are in great shape. It's a beautiful car, and it's gonna look totally different. Love them chrome accents. It's gonna look totally different here. There's some things you're just not gonna get out of it. But we're gonna give it our best, and WD-40. Anything like that. Something to lube this stuff up, she said. And other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just go around this thing for a second and show you. Um, I am kind of a stickler for having WD around, or something to that effect, liquid wrench, white lithium grease, um, you name it. And we've had this one mothballed for a little while, so you never know on them hinges. Uh-oh, ooh, two ignitions, okay. This will be my trunk key. Yeah, that's a cool keychain, huh? One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Woo, buddy, the boot and everything. Extra hubcap. Still got that. I got to keep that nice. That's so cool. Such a clean car. Um, ooh, that is kind of crusty there. So we're going to have to be careful of that. This is a very, actually just right there is hard. Up, getting back in here. Well, that's hard there too. Not down here. Here it is. Kind of dry. Yeah, it's very dry. Okay, one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And don't slam that with that there, man. Jeez. Forgot about that. Love the stainless and chrome on it. We ain't got none here, so. Nothing. Something that sprays and petroleum based. Jeez. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to clip it off like this and we'll just start a different way. What do you got? Something that sprays. What is it? Belt dressing. Belt dressing. This is kind of like a belt, ain't it? Yeah, buddy. Belt dressing this sucker up. 
Oh yeah, man, this is greasy stuff. I like it. Better than nothing. And just if you've got something around like this, get it on it. I was about to just put gasoline on it or something. This has a good smell to it as if it's got a little oil in it also. Uh, two cycle oil. If you can get it to spray on there, that's awesome. Uh, work this up and down a little bit if you would. And you'll hear me saying things to people as I stand around and they know this kind of a stuff. It's just they're kind of standing out of the way as we're doing this film. So, move it up and down, she said. Now slam it, slam it, and stuff like that. Just, it was a weird night. Go ahead and put that thing down, and we are done. OneOwnerCarGuy.com, and we got some videos coming up on this. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. All right, I don't know what you've seen so far, but we got our water mixed up, and throw yourself a little bit of degreaser in there. Um, and I'll get everybody saying everything you can imagine, like what an idiot I am in this. But the thing is, well, let's start that. We can do whatever. When you got old paint like this, I don't know if it's single stage, two stage. I don't know what it is, and it don't matter. Some of it's coming off. Whether it's the top coat of this, the top coat of that, it don't matter. It's coming off. So, with that in mind, cut into it a bit and give it a lot of scrubbing no matter if you're buffing claying or whatever and on a car like this you're gonna see some paint come off because it's definitely an old opened up unsealed paint job for sure so i'm gonna run this in some stages i'm gonna show you paint and i'm gonna show you different things um go ahead and grab that let's just do the paint real quick Whatever, just right down the side, we're gonna wash it. And you'll get some different views on this, I'm sure. You can hit up down, hit up down low. So Matt's hitting down low, and we almost got this side washed. Um, go ahead and wet it all down, and we'll do the other side. And look at all the paint coming off on the back. It's just the way it's gonna happen. And I'll get people saying, oh my God, this, and that's what I'm dealing with. What do you wanna say? You get it buffed down, you get it cleaned up, clayed off. a lot better. Getting a couple pictures here before we get it all wet down. Let me get one of the door here and click. That's that. Okay. Oh, the hood. We haven't done the hood. Awesome! Yeah. That'll kind of give you an idea. That'll give me a good before and after picture for my... Um, stuff everywhere. set this up over here. We'll see how this works. And I'll talk to you in a few short minutes or something to that effect.
know, California is supposed to be great weather. It's about 100 degrees today, though. It's great. It feels good. It's hot. That's how it's done, right? How about the back bumper? Is it all done? Make sure and get your bumpers in pretty much every part of it, as if you didn't know that. Sorry if I'm a little out of focus and trying to keep track of everything. And hopefully you enjoy these videos and I can put them all together in a worthy fashion. Now what we're going to do is finish up the outside and I'm going to start on the wheels and all that. Thanks for watching. That's the wash. The dry, I mean pretty much, to dry the car off. I think you all be able to figure out that. Pretty simple. Have we got a water blade? And this is one of the coolest inventions ever. I'd like to show you. If we can find it, everything around here, I got two of them. I got two lost ones. Oh, they're in a drawer. Because we're so organized, they're all drawered up. California water blades. They're the way to go. And. Many people saying, oh my God, that's going to scratch up that paint. You never use one of them. That's this, that, and the other. Great. Don't use them. Do it however you want to do it. This car is getting California water bladed. And it's not just because it's in California. I'd do this in any state. Just as happy as you can be. I've got a piece of trim coming off there. And we'll have to get screwed back in. Somebody start drying behind me. Let's go. And make sure we dry it off pretty quick behind. I thought we had plenty of help, but it's hard to film, which is a new process for us, for sure. We never know when to be in frame, out of frame, and it's a company-wide thing. I don't know what to show, what not to show, and all that good stuff. This is pretty much what you got, and as you see, it's going to be pretty faded. No, it's not drinking and blunted or nothing. It's just faded. But looks good um, and I'm saying looks good from a ready to clay it type of a thing it's gonna be a great great finish and it's gonna get some awesome results and you can feel the grittiness of it um, and that'll all go away with the clay bar a lot of it and what doesn't here yeah look at Trent's actually using a paper towel on some of it um, which is not really what you want to do on all of it but when it's nice and damp you have a damp towel, it's going to be a lot easier on it. We're out of microfiber towels. Are you kidding me? Do you guys have any microfiber towels here? Mm -hmm. You do. Okay, cool. When we get ready to do the buffin, we definitely, you want to have some microfiber cloth and preferably some terry cloth, cloth, blah, 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 blah. terry cloth towels around. Um, this is the worst damage in this car. It's so straight and I just can't wait to go ahead and start showing that. Um, it's pretty dry now. And I'm going to get a couple pictures of the after here, after being washed. I mean, it's not like it's going to bring it all out and change everything in all the years of not being seen and not having the upkeep, but it definitely looks a bit better. And this will look very nice when it's buffed out. I'm sure there'll be some light spots, as I can see here. And there's going to be some spots like this that, who knows, probably the tarp rubbing across it. Um, things like that. There's some spots in here. Everything's not going to come out, but it's dried down. It's done. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. I'm going to throw this series together. I really don't know how I'm doing it yet. Don't know exactly what it's going to be like. And at the same time, I know next is coming up is wheels and tires and how to make them look just as great as they can. Um, oneownercarguy.com. I'm clipping a couple more pictures just for the heck of it because who knows on the before. And other than that, beaglespocket.com. I've got nine doggies between four weeks and eight weeks old seven bitches and two males give me a call anytime check out beaglespocket.com oneownercarguy.com and that's our wash video one owner car guy oneownercarguy.com and what i got here for you today might even be the same day as the last one but this is wheel wells and we've just washed the car it's in great shape i love these little um centurion logos in the middle of the wheel well I mean in the middle of the hubcap and you can see 
you've got just a little bit of um, grease, oil, dirt, and stuff. A little patina. Awesome. That. Wow, back when they used to have metal wheel wells. There you go. Real car here, 127%. Beautiful on the lips and stuff. It's in great shape, very straight. And we're going to start spraying it all off. And look at this, got factory undercoating back here. And your wheel wells will definitely give you a lot better look if you've got them all cleaned up. And the process we do, we power wash the heck out of them. And your 500 SEC is leaving. It's out of here. And we're going to go ahead and uh, check this out and do it to it. And this stuff will make that tire nice. We're going to let it soak into the wheel well. Did we get it all? And he's going to, Matt's going to come back and swap us once he's done here. Actually, just give the wand to Trent. He'll do the wheel tire. And um, take the wand from him and let's wash the tire. And he'll go take care of the transporter. Man, I'll tell you, there's always two or three things going on. Old tires will look new. Yes, you are. That's all there is to it. is to let this stuff set in the wheel wells and then we're going to do a little bit of light scrubbing on it especially around the edges there that's that I'll put some more in here later and I think he was on the he was about done so we're going to wet that one up the tire ain't really worth doing on this one of course and thanks for watching. Uh, not really much we're going to do on the scrubbing here, but just right down in here. And this is really good if you're going to put a little bit of paint on here. And sometimes on the insides of these, I love to throw a nice coat of flat black or something. So this will get all the grease and tar and all that off for that. And we're running around doing it a different way than we usually do. So it's a little hard for us to be on track. We're going to mess it down here. We basically got three guys running around who are trying to film it all. And that's becoming the hardest part is filming it all where I can show you guys exactly what's going on. Don't like what you're seeing, by the way? Go watch a different video. That's pretty much what we do on these. Well, thanks for watching. I'll put the second part here in a little while. And um, make sure to check out my last video on it, which shows the wash. We're going to clay bar it next. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and um, buff this sucker, man. OneOwnerCarGuy.com and BeaglesPocket.com. Check that out too for Miniature Beagles. 72 Centurion. One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com, back with the detail on the 72 Centurion. We got it all washed up, we got our wheels done. Actually gonna do a little wheel acid here at some point. Not real acid, wheel acid. And I missed the click there, hang on. There we go. And we're gonna get this thing opened up. This actually is one of my favorite parts on it. And it is the engine. And of course, I mean, you're looking at it. But we've got an engine that's been old and dusty and not all, we ain't got rats living in it or nothing. It's very clean in here. But you got dust and grime and stuff on it. Um, obviously, we're gonna use some degreaser and stuff. But more importantly, um, it's very important on these, I think, to kind of wet them up ahead of time. And actually, you should take the time to go ahead and get some plastic bags. We're not gonna do it, I don't really do it much. But put a bag over your distributor, um, things like that, cover up some wires. Um, I just try not to get much in them and um, I have very good luck with that. Um, sometimes we gotta pull them out with some air or something, but that's life. Um, so basically, I'm gonna start this up doing this it's just a smart thing to have the car fired up so that way we can have a little bit of heat and everything going over your sticker. If you don't know what you're doing and what wires to steer clear of, just go ahead and cover them all up for something to that effect. It's just easier than having a problem. But hoses, belts, the whole deal. Get your master cylinder, your brake booster, canisters. Go ahead and get your hood springs, your fender wells. Get the least amount you can on the paint. Um, keep it away from wires as much as you can to get the motors and stuff. Whatever. Spray the heck out of it. And I know I'll have people, oh, this isn't the way you do it, and you need to do this. And Good. Add that to your own thing, and maybe there's parts of things you can learn here, and parts of things you could teach me that... I might change someday, but right now, this is a detail. Now, the next step, it's not really the pro standard step here, and I'm gonna actually come back in a second and show this in a minute, and I'm just gonna cut this off and make two videos. All right, we're back with you, and we got our mystery product on here, and if you wanna see what that is, that might be on this channel somewhere, and I'll pop a link here if it is. If not, there'll be a link to my Vimeo channel where you can check it out there and I got some special stuff I'm coming up with. 
Um, once you got this stuff on, um, you kind of got a deal here where you got to wet it up. It's fine. We're like, this is good. Just kind of wet it up again to where you got a little bit of cleaning power with that water and then a little bit of degreaser over that. Woo, buddy. It's ready to go. And this stuff that we've sprayed on here is amazing stuff. It's the way to go. And that's all there is to it. So, look at it, just eating that, eating that stuff off there. Woo hoo buddy. Well, that's that. From there, it's all elbow grease. And just make sure and get as much as you can. You'll have rust and stuff coming off and you name it. Watch your eyes. If you're working with somebody, watch their eyes. Be careful of your logos, labels, stuff like that. Um, just little tips. You can do whatever you want. I'm just throwing them out there. Um, I clean the batteries. I clean everything under here while it's all wetted up like this. And remembering how this is back here, I do always try to get to my more grimy areas first. And as you can see, that piece of rubber is going to have to be retied on there somehow. Re-glued down, something to that effect. But all this grease on here, just as much as you can get off, man. Get it off by brush. And then come in with your um, water on it. Another thing is to keep it as wet as you can in the meantime, because the minute it starts drying off, you're gonna have issues with um, it don't it don't scrub as easy when it's drying. Let's just put it that way. Is that good enough description? Basically, the point here is elbow grease lots of it and Matt's gonna start this thing up and we're gonna kind of blast the heck out of what we can here 99 cent store for all these little brushes stuff is always important. Like I also say, I'm sure um, get your plastic parts first like Matt was doing with that bottle over there. Um, they will hold the grease the most and your greasy areas are also important to get. Hopefully I didn't get over the lens too much. Just the uh, danger of doing this. One of the most important parts to get the valve covers and around that area um, in case there's any leaks. And what this does also is it really helps us on the other end when we're um, looking for leaks. Uh, when this stuff's nice and clean, now when I get this thing all running right and drive it around, when I'm driving it around, I see where a leak is, it's easy to locate it. And from there, I'll be able to fix it if it's a valve cover gasket or you know, that type of thing. Um, also sometimes, just so you know, it can cause a leak and you can break a gasket. Well, oneownercarguy.com. The rest is just a little bit of spraying off, wiping off, get it running, get it warmed up. Thanks for watching, have a nice day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Make sure to check out my other videos. Um, there's some other videos on here and we show washing, buffing, playing, you name it. Um, also, the same kind of procedure we're doing for the engine can be used for the undercarriage the same way. And when you do that, you're going to want it up on ramps or something to that effect. Well, thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. All kinds of classics, Euro, muscle cars. Subscribe, comment, like, share, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. All right. I don't know what all we've showed, but this is the result.
of the cleaning under the hood. And as you see, you can totally see the valve covers are a totally different color. As is the block, you can see the blue coming through down there. I can also see some areas where we'll probably take a little bit of second and put some more of our special product that you might have seen on it. Because right down in there, it's just a couple areas, especially around that air intake thing that I'd like to get a little bit more grease off of. Um, this piece we're going to get a little bit better by hand. We didn't scrub it that much. But you can see over here, we might do the light blue on that block down there a little more because you can see the grease running off of it. So, other than that, that's the deal. A um, little bit of silicone or epoxy behind that will be nice because it's a nice original sticker and I hate to do much to it. Um, definitely we'll clean it up a bit, but don't get much degreaser and stuff on them because they will kind of loosen up. Well, that's the result. Give us a few minutes here and maybe click some more videos. There'll be boop, 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 links all over the place and you can go to different videos and see what we're doing here. And maybe even by now, you'll, the full one will be done and bam, it'll be like right there is a link. Yeah, right there. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. One owner car guy, Dr. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. It's getting a bit greasier and grimier around here. And we've got the 72 Centurion here. Awesome car. I've had it mothballed for a while. I love it. Maybe you've seen some of the other videos. And boop, boop, boop. We'll pop some links in here to where you can go check out the wash, um, the engine detail, the tires and wheels. And you can talk crap about how we're doing it and say, you're doing that wrong. And all that kind of good stuff you love to do. So, oneownercarguy.com. And we're going to actually show some claying on this one. And Trent has his clay here. And he's going to start hitting it up. And you can get this at your local detailing store and stuff. This is a number 300. And what side are we going to do? This one? Yes. I like this side better too. And the process. Get a little water on it. You always want to lube it up. That's why they make that stuff. Get it a little wet, and then you want to rub it around. <laughs> Come on now, this is a family show. Basically, you just rub the clay on it. It's pretty damn simple. Um, and now we'll have somebody say, it's not simple. What you have to do is this and this and this and this, and you should never do this because it'll ruin your paint forever. Come to me and give me a $1,000, and I'll do it for you because I'm a pro. Uh-huh. Got our $10, $12 clay bar here. And just clay down all your paint. Clay it down for me, Trent. And that's the deal. Keep some water under it. Um, that's where you can get some scratchy, swirly stuff. But truthfully, it's not the end of the world. If you do, any of that will come out. And in your buff process. Get your woman out here doing this with you. Tell her, no, it's just like ghost, really. You know where you're molding the clay and stuff? Except here, just mold it on this car back and forth really fast. You know, stuff like that. That's an old movie. I don't even know if Trent was born when that came out. God, that was like 89 or 87 or 86. What year was you born? Like 85. 85. Trent was born, but he wasn't molding no clay with the women yet. <laughs> Well, and that's it. You'll see a definite difference. It doles it up even. You might be like, ah, what did I do to my paint? Well, nothing. You clayed it. But you will notice all I feel on that's clay. I feel just smoothness besides the clay. That's not smooth. Listen. Now listen. Now listen. And any clay, any sound on this is a clay. So he's got the hood clayed down, and we're just going to kind of go ahead and clay this whole car. And that's the clay process, and you'll see the clay bar has picked up some paint color. Oh no, you're rubbing your paint off! Man, I get some rude and crude and comments and like that on here. But that's just what you're going to get with a paint job like this. This has been outside, it's been neglected, it's not pristine indoor since brand new paint. This is older paint. And just clean your clay bar out a bit and get a lot of the paint and stuff off of it and kind of clean it up as much as you can. Just like Ghost, just like Ghost. And that's that. Well, we're gonna go ahead and clay this car down and wanna clean up 
maybe clean up the hood before we, um, why don't we clean this up beforehand to where, give a little water on it, Matt, if you would. And you know, it's not easy to film this stuff. I got everybody standing around here. We're not good at this. We don't have a process for it yet, but we're gonna get it going. One more hit of it. And really rub in there. You just rub clay all over it. It's like you done got a clay bath, a mud bath, mud wrap. You gotta rub this stuff off, get it off there. And I'm telling you the difference, night and day. And once it dries up, I'll give you a little look at that too. And Matt's gonna spray this off. Oh yeah, we missed the front. One owner car guy, one owner car guy got one. See how smooth it gets too. But it's stripped everything off. Any kind of pollen, resin, um, any kind of dirt, grime, it's all stripped off. That's that. Oh man. Woo! Okay, we're gonna let this dry up a bit to where it looks good. Yeah. Have we got another drying rag? It don't matter. And we'll buff this all next. And that's that. I'm gonna let it dry for a second and then, um, like I said, buff it. Why don't we wipe this side down too? To where it kind of dries evenly and we can see a difference. Telling you that California water blades make it just so awesome. That's all there is to it. We're not gonna run out of them by the time we buff, right? Okay. She <laughs> look at that, man. And the way it dries, you can even tell just from the way it dries that one side's been clayed and one side hasn't. Look at how he's you're gonna scratch your car up if you do that too much. End of the story. Now look at that. This is a good point. That came off of this side. He ain't gonna get nothing like that off this side. Okay, yeah, let me do that again for you. You can even hear it starting to squeak. Let me do it again. She likes it when I do it three times. That's so smooth. Well, thanks for watching. Look at that. You can even see the difference right there on the hood. It's starting to really come out. You can see the shine on that side and how it's dull on that side. Well, one owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. That's claim your car. And now we're gonna do the rest of the car and do the Rachel Ray thing where it's all done and bam, right out of the oven. One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. And I got my safety glasses and stuff. Well, actually they're my Neo style actual Elvis glasses that aren't really for this type of thing, but it's all I got. And some glasses are a very good thing to have when buffing. It's our 72 Centurion that we're going to be buffing out. It's all washed. Wheels and tires are done. Degreaser's done. Under the hood's done. And we've clay barred it. And hopefully you've caught some of them videos. Hopefully I can pop a couple links up in here for you. And I've got my DeWalt buffer. And you know, I've got kind of a halfway dialogue for these things when I start out. And what I do is a two-stage process. And last time, if you noticed, um, I had these in bags and basically what i want to show you is this is your see that that's all the, cl the compound from last time but that's the ground you don't want to touch that last time i went like this and we're like oh my god so this time check that out i'll just rub it around on there a bit so what's the point of that you'd never let a wool pad touch the ground no you really shouldn't um, but it's inevitable. It's gonna happen. That's just the way it is. You're detailing and you know, you're not gonna always have the most optimum settings. I'm gonna try and set this back a little here and show you. Now, I'm gonna rub it out. And honestly, rubbing it out should get most of everything I just kind of lightly put on it off of it. Um, at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And just turn your speed up 
3,000. 3,000? And really dig that sucker in there. You should actually have compound all over the wrench you use like that. And use this in too. Ah, oh, it's warm too. Dig that sucker in. Now I'm sorry, but I don't care if I went ahead and buff that concrete a little bit. It's gonna come off there. And that's my point. And the point of all this is nothing is the end of the world on this. If it's really bad, you can wet it up. But that's just as smooth as it gets, and there's not going to be no sand in there or stuff. Turn that thing back down to, you know, 15 to 1800 for this. But I do a two stage, and this here is your surface. Now I'm starting with a totally, and I, I custom make what we put on here. It's a mixture of stuff, and so there's not really any way for me to tell you exactly what to use. 3M makes a great product. Um, it's a three-stage product. It's a um, compound, a finesse, and a hand glaze. And that's one way to do it. It'd probably cost you 90 to 120 bucks for the set. Probably do a couple cars though. Um, so you'll get hell about every way you do anything on here on YouTube. I'll get trolls saying this is that or you did this wrong, whatever. This car has a lot of chrome and aluminum and stainless or whatever trim on it. And as you can see, there's already some compound or something on there from just over time. And you're going to want to stay away from it as much as you can. If you want to be absolutely just tidy, tidy, tidy about it and stuff, you could go ahead and tape it off with a tape and use masking tape to tape it all off. And that's one very good tip and one very good thing to keep your car just clean as can be. And if you're dealing with like a Ferrari or a nice new RX 27 or I don't know, some kind of $50,000 car or a R8, I think that's what the new Nissan is or something. You're dealing with something like that, you might tape off your trim and stuff. If you've seen what I started with here, you're not taping it off, you're not worried. Everybody will tell you a different amount of compound to use. That's too much, that's not enough. Do it like this, do it like that. Well, we're gonna bring this tripod over here and hopefully this will all work out. Now, getting it in your seams is not cool. Well, you're going to get it in your seams a little bit on this. You can get it all over my shirt. And you name it. Now, how much compound to use? Well, not too much. And that's a lot right there. But it's also my first little step here. And you're going to want to wet your wheel up just a little bit. Now, I'm sorry I'm showing you the wrong things here. Just getting started and getting a process for this and putting my camera on this tripod is a new deal for me while holding a buffer. So, you have to excuse things just a little bit here as I get kind of set up for you. I like it. I think I like it. So, that's what you're dealing with. One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com, and it's off to this. Like, you know, I've got that all cleaned up, got it smooth. And I'm going to go ahead and just lightly rub that around. And get as much on it as you can. You know, honestly, I've soaked most of it up.
And the amount you use is going to depend on your surface too. This is not the most optimum of surfaces. So you're going to get a little splash around this stuff because you're just using more wax. Little things like keeping your cord out of the way are nifty and handy. You can throw it up over your shoulder very easily. Okay, as you can see here, we got plenty of red paint on our buffer. And I don't know if this is a single stage, uh, clear coat, base coat, which is, honestly, I think it's a single stage. But this is our first buffing with it, and I'll have to hit it up in some areas. As you wipe it off, you'll see what you're dealing with. And out there a ways, I'm gonna hit it up a little more. Um, and we'll get it just a little smoother. That's your general consensus here for it and your instruction. And I didn't get out into this piece enough. I just kind of got along that edge. But you can see it's definitely shining up and a little bit more. Sometimes you might even have to do it twice to give it what you're looking for. But you can definitely see it coming along. I do not expect this paint to be 100%. I don't expect to go, wow! I just expect a nice original look and stuff. And I haven't done the front yet, but you can see it's kinda quite a bit shinier. And we're gonna go ahead and actually kinda tie that in a little better, get this a little more. You can even see on here where it sat on there. Um, with a paint like this, um, I love when I get the real professional detailers come in and tell you how much product to put on a old car like this. And they might be really good at doing their Murcielagos that somebody pays them to do or something, or more likely the Hyundai Excels that somebody pays them to do. Excels, that's how old you are, really? More like a Lantra or something. But anyways, with a paint that's this open and porous and just old, sun faded, you can really get some good look out of it, but it's gonna take a couple stabs at it sometimes. And you can literally see, I don't know if you'd be able to see in the video, but where I put the wax when I squeezed it on there. And it's because it'll soak it up into the paint, give you a different view there. It'll actually soak it in. And that's why you're gonna to wanna to use a lot of wax, or not wax, it's a, more of a rubbing compound on this, is to kind of get your best result out of it. So that's that. We're going to pop this in and get a little bit more done on this end here. And then I'll clip a couple videos together. Buffing. One owner car guy. One owner car guy .com. God, that's looking good. We'll talk to you in a minute. I'm going to do one more section here and just do it again. And I'm running a cord around that thing. That's what I'm doing. Whoa, and I just kicked it over. Good thing this ain't. There we go. I'm gonna get just one more area here and kind of show you what I mean. And when you're doing this, honestly, it's very easy to work in small sections. Um, you can see I did a bigger section there. 
And what you're going to want to do is split it up into like little sixth sections like this. This is exactly what you want. Just a nice finish on a small section keeping it wetted up. And this is not ever going to be a perfect finish, but I'm sure you could tell that's just a little bit nicer. And you can see where it's hazier here. Um, so that's that. Um, a lot of the lines came out and I'm just gonna keep it wetted up, keep going. You can really tell the difference in this paint. And wait till you see the whole finished product. You'll be amazed. God, it's even looking a little bit more darker too. That looks good. Well, one owner car guy, and we got the rest of this thing done. And as you can see, it is definitely a lot shinier. Now this is just a second, a first stage. And Matt is actually gonna change out the buffer and stuff while we're talking here. And I'll give you a second stage on the hood on that same part. Um, rather than do the whole car, once we're going to do the whole car twice i guess just to show you this half and half thing um, also our second stage is a bit different as you can see there um, and he's got the proper thing to change out here same deal on um like i should always at least run the round end over these foams um, you dig into it too much with a spur or the open end of a socket flip, flip, flip and it's going to rip the foam all up but get that thing centered nice and neat and then definitely use your it's over there round in at least to clean it up a bit and knock the dust off and like i said you dig in too much on this one and you're going to tear the foam right up so i'll just kind of make it more pliable i'm going to squirt this on while he's heading this way just to where you can see it's just a little bit different color, grit, the whole thing. And it's a whole different way that this is going to happen. And we're experimenting with a couple different ways of making these videos. And I'm not exactly sure in the end what the best way will be. Now, like I say, no matter what, this is gonna be a pretty dry paint. Um, our paint is not gonna be perfect when we're done. Um, there's still gonna be some areas that you can see in there. God, it's hard to see them though. But you can definitely see how that, I can see it. I hope you can in the lens. It definitely adds that last a little bit of a different shine to it right in that area so he's gonna hit that up a little bit and I'll just kind of film it to where you can see it as it goes down and you'll notice he don't have his buffer flat on these kind of areas, you're going to use the edge just a little bit more. Experience will kind of help you a bit, but then come back over it flat like he just did there a bit, and it'll kind of give you a really, really smooth surface. Um, but I'm just going to show you as he does the front, this one little patch, and... And we have came unplugged, which will happen to you a few times during this process, guaranteed. It's part of it. And yes, if you look at the other side, that's it. Versus, this is what we had. And we'll do a little bit of this flat area for you. Don't know how much of it I'll keep filming, but and you'll notice he's not using as much product now. And on this second stage, you know you've got it sealed up a good part way.
So you notice how he's keeping it a lot flatter now. It'll give you less uneven spots or dry spots, the flatter you can keep it. And I'm sure everybody or somebody else has a different technique. And uh, hey, more power to you. This works for me and I get great results from it. Color is good. And having that nice cloth there to wipe it down and everything. On the last time we just showed a little bit, like a little corner. This time we're showing a little bit more. You can see it'll throw some dust over it, but man, it's smooth now. I'm seeing the ridges in the, actually, the ridges in the top part there is reflecting. Pretty nice. Well, I'm gonna clip this off and leave you with what we've done here. OneOwnerCarGuy.com for all sorts of classic Euro muscle cars. This one will be up pretty soon. 72 Centurion. Wow. That is just looking sweet. God, I love doing this. I want to kick him off that buffer right now and just get going on it. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com And so you know the people you see around here, you'll see Trent a lot. You've seen him over the last few weeks. Um, Samantha you'll see time to time and she's actually went back to Montana for a while and this is Matt from Montana. You've heard him on the video end of things a bit and doing a lot of the annotations and everything and probably actually he does some of the videos also and a lot of the puppy videos in Montana and ones that I'm not around. And that's pretty much everybody. Anybody else is uh, Dave Winfield, designated hitters around here. They come in every once in a while, maybe. But that's that, thanks for watching. Couldn't even see that ding before. And you'll see it when I come back here. Just couldn't even see it before because it was all different kind of thing. Man, that's beautiful. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. I'm gonna get a quick picture for you. Perfect. Is it for you or for me? I don't know. OneOwnerCarGuy.com, BeaglesPocket.com, check it out. One Owner Car Guy, and I'm back with you. And this is what we came up with here. Uh, Matt just second stage the car, and it's in great shape. You can see the paint's just beautiful. Um, you got some dry spots and everything. Hopefully you can see that. The sides look amazing. The car's in great shape. You can't expect perfect. And right here, I like I knew that'd be a little bit more distinct. And you can see it's a little faded more on the trunk. It's in great shape. It looks great. I'm pretty sure it's original paint, man. This is an amazing car. Well, that's your once around. Big old car. A couple chips in this side. And I'm not gonna do nothing to it. Not even that ding, man. I ain't gonna touch it up. I ain't gonna do nothing. It could have been painted, man. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look closer. It's been years since I looked at this car. Well, it's absolutely beautiful. And that is the, from start to finish, wheel wells, wheels under the hood, clay bar, wa washing, clay barring, and buffing first stage and second stage. Um, the only thing left to do on this car is when we're completely done detailing it, give it a little bit of a hand wax to where, you know, it's all beautiful and done. Um, one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Check out my websites, lots of unique cars on there. Um, beaglespocket.com for beagles. And I'm gonna do a couple of these. In fact, that um, blue Benz is coming up next. I did a maroon one. In fact, I'll click a link somewhere in here to where you can see it. Um, lots of unique cars on my site um, and lots of unique videos coming up. And I have been completely swamped. I've been trying to get more stuff up on the free car contest. It's a, oh, April, I was gonna say, August 26th, and um, a lot of stuff going on here, and I'm actually moving everything. I'll be out of my, one of my lots, actually two places there, at that big place, here by the end of the month. So I'll really be uploading some videos. I gotta catch up, I gotta catch a breather here is what I gotta do, um, that's all I know. One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I love talking on here. And I love me this Centurion. And that's coming up. So, one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. Look at that beautiful paint, man.
just as beautiful as it can be. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. We'll talk to you.